my name is Mike Barr, and today I'm going to show you how to enable Azure SSO and user provisioning in your PDI. So, as you can see, I'm in my PDI here. One thing you're going to need to do before you get started in ServiceNow is go to the plugins. All right. And you want to make sure that you have this particular plugin enabled. Integration, multiple provider, single sign-in installer. Once that you have it installed, refresh your browser, and then simply type in SSO. And you'll see the properties here. So you can see I have the base properties of enable, enable importing of users, debugging, and the field that we are going to use to basically authenticate with. And then in the PDIs, you get some of this out-of-the-box stuff, which is, it's great, but we're not going to use any of this stuff in this particular uh, tutorial. So now that I have that done, let's move on over to Azure, because that's where a lot of the work is going to take place, and then we'll come back to ServiceNow. In Azure, and you guys are probably wondering, well, how do I get here? Well, you might know that Microsoft purchased GitHub, and with that, you get some free stuff from Microsoft. So what I'm basically using is, so if I, I'm going to log out here just to show you. Yep, signed out. So basically, because I have a GitHub account with my Gmail account, I also have a freemium, if you will, Azure account. And with that comes with a free Azure AD, so to speak. It's not nothing like your, your enterprise AD type stuff, but hey, it, it works in this particular case here. So I'm back in AD, or back in Azure, I should say. And I've got Azure Active Directory over here on my left-hand side. Go ahead and click that. Let's look at my users. Unfortunately, it's just me, but that's okay. That's all we need. So let's go back. On the left-hand side here, you're gonna look for enterprise applications. So let's pull that up. And if you go through, you're gonna see the applications that you're subscribed to. But also, if you click on new application, you're gonna see a ton of others. So in this case, we're gonna search for ServiceNow. And I'm gonna click on it. Now, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna label this as ServiceNow PDI. I'm gonna click add. And I'm doing this for a reason, because why didn't I name it the way that I did? Well, it's because you can add more than one. So if I actually come back here, and click on new application again. I click type service now. There we go. And let's just say you're doing this for a client. You want to provision all throughout all the environments. So in this case, I can use test or prod. However you want to name it. But the idea is, is that you can add more than one. And it's not prevalently known that you can do that or you need to add a separate application for each login, but I wanted to make that known. So let's go back to ServiceNow PDI. Great. So now what I want to do is, because I know I have a user, I'm going to add my user to here. So I got my bar, my admin account, select, assign. All right. One and done, no big deal. So the next step is single sign-on, which is what we're all here for. So I'm gonna click SAML. All right, so now I need to provide a couple things here. We're gonna do, basically it's, it's as easy as this, 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 slash, Nav page dot do. And that's really it. So I've got my, my three URLs here. I'm gonna click save. Da, 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 da. All right, good to go. We'll test later. All right, and all this stuff is, is nice, but really all you need to do is come here. You come to this configuration page. Microsoft will automatically send the information that you need to ServiceNow from Azure. So here's what we're going to do. I don't want to use my admin account, so I'm going to create a new one. Click new and use Azure.ad, Azure AD, and we're going to give it a password. I'm going to save it. And for the sake of this tutorial, we're going to give it admin because that's what it needs. 
But from a security perspective, I'm gonna lock this out. Web service only, that's what you should do. So I've got my Azure.ad account. Let's come back here. Do Azure. There we go. See, got the sign up successfully. And you're like, all right, well, what do I do from here? It's actually quite simple. So, SSO, identity providers. You can see now, boom, Microsoft has pushed over all the information that we need from Azure AD in over to our instance. So the first thing that you're going to do is add the certain. Won't work if you don't do this. All right, easy enough. So user provisioning, we're gonna leave that there. One last thing, now that I'm connected, speaking of provisioning, we are going to add provisioning. So we're gonna click on, so you go to provisioning here, click on configure automatic provisioning, and that's not what I wanted. Get started, that's what I wanted, perfect. Automatic, put in my dev account, Azure not AD, super secret password. I'll put in my email. And we're gonna test the connection. Boom, one and done. Save. All right, so provisioning has been started. Usually it, it turns on or it gives me an opportunity to turn it on by itself. Uh, you know, I can click on that in and just double check here. Uh, provisioning status. Yeah, normally this doesn't happen, but hey, I'll set it back up. No big deal. All right. Notify me. Provisioning on. Got my scope. Perfect. Save. Save. Yeah. All right. It's just being funky. Azure. Azure is weird like that sometimes. So let's save it. Yeah. Apparently, you have to test it before you're actually allowed to save it. ServiceNow does the same thing. All right, so now that we're done here, there's a couple things we need to change here. The first thing that we need to change is get rid of this guy. Don't need it. The other thing is here. So Azure basically sets this field automatically. Well, from my experience, this does not work. Change to username. All right, last thing you need to do change this guy. As you saw in my recent selections here, you need to choose the multi-SSO v2 SAML custom script includes. Before you do anything else, don't save this record because if you save it without testing the connection, you will lose all the work that you do. So we're going to test it and let's see if it works. All right. All right. Redirect me to GitHub. It's cool. And boom, we've got it. This is, this is exactly what you should see. This is exactly how it should happen. So we're gonna activate this bad boy. Pretty much, we're done. The last thing that I'm gonna do here to kind of show, to finish off this proof of concept is set as auto RDP, all right? So basically what this means is that when you go to your instance, your PDI instance, so dev, you know, whatever, dot .com, you're going to be redirected to your Azure SSO. But before I do that, let me just make sure that I have this enabled because this is not going to work if it's not. All right, let's close that puppy out. I'm going to log out. Yep, log out successful. Perfect. And here we are. Well, look at that. It must be because I'm already logged in, but you can tell this is not, this was not the account that I started with. So if I impersonate the account that I originally started with, like bar, see, got two. I'm back to the original screen. So you can see there that within a few minutes, I was able to successfully, I just want to see if I can show you that login process. External URL. There we go. So you can see here that SSO has been successfully configured with Azure. And as I mentioned, going back to the main overview screen in Azure Active Directory, is that you can set up multiple ServiceNow uh, provisioning for each of your instances. So right now we did it for the PDI, but if you're work if you're a customer, if you're working as for a client, you can easily set up multiple instances of 
authenticating with your Azure SSO environment. Thank you very much for your time.